Greetings everyone, welcome back to Mandro. It's been, you know how long it's been, same as always. But anyways, yes, so we are entering our final arc of the game. There's like one more quest left, I guess, that's very long. Uh, and then we're pretty much done with Andrew. However, we're not going to do that. We still have some stuff to do. I especially want to do the side quest regarding the tavern area. I'll do the meet just par optional stuff. And I'll also do the side quest for the companions as well as Useland's quest. And maybe some random side quests I should probably do as well that aren't as hard anymore basically because I've already been overpowered beyond belief. So... Princess, welcome to the stream. You're up early. Jeez. To the stream, not that you just woke up. I know it may sound like it, but... Not what I meant. No, 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 no. Okay. Regardless, let's... Let's get to it. We have... Yeah, would you fucking stay in one spot? Okay. He never listens. I'm starting to speak like a dwarf. You were the one on Half Moon Island, weren't you? Part of that crack do such a thing. So wait, I, s I first need to talk to... Blazes. I'm afraid. Is he upstairs? Huh? Why is he always upstairs? Stay in one spot. Oh. He went to the next room! The gra oh, it's his, it's his quarters. <laughs> it's his bedroom. My apologies. I, uh, I didn't know. I really didn't know. Have I even, have I ever been in here? I'm trying to think. I think I have. That depends on what kind of loot is around here. Yeah. He's just chilling. A Dussel's lucky coin. I was just able to take him. Prophet. Yes. I've overheard your discussion with the Trichessa. How can she still not believe the threat is real? After all we've learned. Hmm. You know, I know Natara better than you might believe. And I know the reason for her untouchable demeanor. Fear. She's afraid of losing something important to her. Something that she helped to create, and that is the Order. You probably do not know this, but unlike most Keepers, Natara was not born of the Sublime Path. Even more than us, she had to fight for her place here. 
And through immense willpower and discipline, she made it. Not only to become an ordinary keeper, but into the highest league. In other words, the order is all she has. Correct. It is all she has ever lived for, and she's afraid that change will destroy it. Your admission into our ranks, our truce with Narazul's mages. She believes that my imprisonment made me into a fool whose only intent is to get his will. She does not realize that all that has happened burdens me as much as it burdens her. And that I would give a lot for her support, rather than this ridiculous bickering. You'd like this, you like someone to back you up? That's the first time I've ever heard you say something like that. Everybody needs someone to back them up from time to time. You know, as humans, we are not so different from animals as some try to make us believe. We are like wolves. And every pack needs a leader. Someone in front who is not afraid to make the hard calls. And this is who I am. I did not ask for it, but I will not fail. If my resolve weakens, the others will lose their courage. And I cannot let that happen. I can understand that. But that oh, does not you stood mean up. that I regret any of the decisions I have made. None of them. Okay, that's that bit done. Being said though, I do. I still believe. I feel like I'm the only fucking one doing something regarding this threat. Like I'm sure we would have beaten the high one weeks ago if everyone was doing the part, but they're all sending me on a mission, and then the grandmaster is just chilling in his own bedroom. Yes. She wants to speak with me, but at some other place, a probably. That can banish these high ones. The mysteries of this world are endless. It's so funny every time he says it because he is playing the voice actor of the high ones. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Uslan questline, Jaspa, and the Curarium. And I believe Kalias for the evening. So jarring. This is just madness. Red madness. Enemies before our gates. Apologies. Can you ask us to keep on living as if nothing has happened. Uh, where exactly is he in this room? Oh, right. <laughs> you just wait and see, fucking sissy. <laughs> oh, I know I've heard that sentence already so often, but it's still funny the way he delivers it. <laughs> just you wait, fucking sissy. <laughs> wait, it's up here. Can't wait for some philosophical conversation with Jaspar again. Oh yeah, right. Sorry, he just woke up. No, I don't. I could sleep. <laughs> but I just want to talk with him. The world's nearing its end, yet the prophet takes the time to pay me a visit. What do you need? Uh, just wanted to check on you. How's your injury doing? It does what most injuries do. Hurts. But I'm a lot better. Thanks for asking. Truth be told, just lying around here doing nothing is what's bothering me the most at the moment. We'll soon start the mission to head into the City of a Thousand Floods. I just want to say goodbye. Oh my, you make it sound so dramatic. I don't think this will be the end, though. Say what you want about this place, but it'll be a long time before Korax men break through. The apothecary has said I might even be able to help if I rest for just a few more hours. Just be careful, all right? And find the Numinos. I'm on it. That has been completed too. Surprised I didn't get any XP for that, but we move. It's nice to talk with him. 
Now I need to figure... Oh, wait. I should have probably used the bed before I got out of there. Nobody warns me about that. Greetings. 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 I can't believe my intro is based off a random NPC voice line that keeps repeating whenever you click him. <laughs> <laughs> Turn out to feel about it. Maybe I'm the NPC. I, I definitely feel like I ooze a bit of uh, NPC energy. Not gonna lie. Yuslan, I will talk with you in a bit, my G. But first, I want to talk to Kalaya. Therefore, I need to find a bed. Yes. Yes, that just a machine might. that can banish these, these high ones. ones. The mysteries of this world are endless, aren't they? Damn it. Is it this is a bed I can use? That's a long skip. Okay, now I should be able to do it. One day. In the nobles quarter. Okay. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Yes. 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 That might just work. Oh, there you are. Did you find it? Yes. To the nobles quarter. Ale fucking oop. Oh, I keep forgetting that that happens every time. Mister? I thought she was going to be here. I'm sure she'll probably come here at some point. Well, in the meantime, I can go shopping. <laughs> Hunter? I want to learn how to use a bow. Well, don't ask me. My friend. The forbidden book. Maybe ask that oh, I should go to the librarian. I forget about that too. Time. Scarlet Knights. Okay, not bad. Tactfulness. Health potion. Take one teleport to Ark. Thank you very much. Oh, I can I can buy learning points and crafting points as well. I completely forgot about that. And knowledge points. Do I need like ten more? I'm gonna fucking gamble it. Take care. There goes all my money. Oh, I, I didn't need that much, but that's fine. I think I've done everything now. My friend. Yep, and I get another 1500 XP. These don't work. Okay. So I now have Blessing of the Wise One. Which, again, it just gives me a boost in... Uh, I am covered in blood. Where can I find that again? Yeah, all my primary fight skills have been increased by f four in total. But it was three before, so it's only by one extra. Uh, yeah, the Ambrosia. I need two times. Because I was on 40% before I started the stream. I checked it out. Well, let's hope Kalai has finally come to the Nobles Quarter. What the fuck?
Hay... The Fat Leorian. To the right, music to my ears. If you need anything else, drink I'll skip like two hours. Oh, hey, doggy, Luffy. That's just a good name, <laughs> Luffy. Which is my, what, what? Where's my room? I'm guessing the one that's open. Out of my way. Oh. Laya. There you are. Era, you came. Nice dress. Thanks. I thought it was fitting for the occasion. You say that, but I've got my fucking <laughs> hunter armor on. Peaceful. As if there'd be no enemy army just in front of our gates. As if all this, the cycle, the high ones, the Naramis, were just imagination. Uh, my pessimistic side would say the quiet before the storm. Uh, and I fear your pessimistic side is right this time. What do you mean I this wanted... time? Do you want to hear something funny? Shoot. The two of us. Even though we haven't known each other for that long, we've been through a lot. We underwent the sigil's trial, we fought our way through ancient ruins, and we found the forgotten home of the star people. I'd say we make for quite an unusual couple, right? Yeah. But still, what I'd like to ask of you tonight, I'm ashamed to. It seems so out of place, so mundane. You want to dance? Mundane actually sounds good for a change. What do you want to do? I... Uh, just follow me. I'll tell you when we get there. I have trust issues when women say I have to follow them. I don't know what it is. Yes, sir. Hello. It could be anything. Could be dancing. Could be fishing. Oh, you're not from around here, are you? I know that accent. You haven't heard me talk, Galabadeka. I don't know whatever that name was. Keep walking. <laughs> NPC is confused. Save the game. Probably gonna crash at some point. That's my pessimistic side. Do you know how to open a door, my dear? Use your hand. Oh. She didn't even use hands, she just teleported. That's impressive. Hello. I forgot my walking button. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but her walk is faster than my walk. <laughs> so I have to run again, then walk, then run, then walk. Where the fuck are we going? This is my house. You want to? Okay, never mind then. Are we going to the other tavern? Knowing this one at the noble's quarter. Does she want to get drunk? This isn't a good idea, lads. We're about to get into a fight. I generally don't remember what she wanted. Because I have done this quest before. But it's been almost a year now, actually, since I've done it. Oh, she doesn't want... She does want the tavern. What the... F Bro, just go to the noble's one. Saves us all this fucking walking. Whoa, my clothes! Hey! <laughs> Bro, they're getting rid of my shit every time without permission. I don't know how to feel about this. They're a small minstrel group from Duneville, and they came here to play despite the situation. I can't see shit. They should help defend the city. God, oh, come on. Oh, there's no harm in a little diversion. You're right. 
Until recently, though, I thought differently about that. I never permitted myself to waste my time with these kinds of things. And I thought people who did were fools like that. But then I realized oh, sorry. there's a point where you've done everything you can. And I wish I could see something else than just my head. A few days or even hours will bring us. We could die. And if that should happen, I want to be able to say, yes, Kalia, you gave your life for something meaningful. You pursued your ideals until the very end. But despite all that, you didn't forget to just let go from time to time. You didn't forget to live. Or to love. Uh, you're doing well in the second part, if I may say okay. so. And it means a lot to me. So, Saira, let's dance I together. fucking knew it For was tonight, dancing! Let's just forget about everything else. The high ones, the cleansing, all the things we've had to see. So, you know what? I am a horrible dancer. <laughs> Screw it. Oh my god. I mean, at least well, it makes the place uh, lively. I can't control my character. Oh! Oh, damn! Hey! Hey, my guy's got moves. I'm getting into the table myself. I just wish there were more people dancing. Ah, I actually wanted to see it a little bit longer. That was fun. <laughs> Bro, my guy got moves, man. I'm a horrible dancer. This spits the most fire dance I've ever fucking seen. Oh, of course we're having sex again. Can you guys not do it for like two minutes? They keep getting rid of my clothes, man. I have to reset everything. Which one did I have? Small minds, all of them. As if they knew anything about This is true pain. I'm still carrying two oh yeah, my vagabond sack. Much better. Do I wake her up? No, don't sleep again. She's not sleeping, she's standing up. Is she a sleepwalker? What? <laughs> I don't know how this works. I need an explanation. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't, don't equip your bow. There's no, no reason to shoot. You know what? You can stay and sleep there for all I care. This is how my relationship feels like though, because I take the whole bed and I push her aside. We're now in the nobles quarter! What? I was looking at the doors. So I'm like, am I just not in the same area? What the fuck? So we went from the nobles quarter to the skin to the stinking skeever, whatever the foreign quarter. Then we had sex back at the nobles quarter. Oh, bro, we could have done everything over there. What the fuck? Why make it so difficult? This has been the. This has been, bro. I. Worth it, but f come on, man. <laughs> God damn it. Well, uh, comes a point, the point when you <laughs> just have to live with it. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Thank you for adding that to the conversation. You fucking dickbag. <clears throat> that was a... That was a voice crack and a half. There's a sun temple now. Hey. At least I go XP. But people want to know if sex is worth it. I'm like, yes. You get like, what, 1500 XP? You can level up. In real life and in game. I need to go back there. Transcribe verse 80 with... 
if you use a condom, you get an XP boost. Stay safe out there, kids. Where the f this just doesn't make any sense. Why can't it ever be easy? The thing is, whenever it is easy, you don't notice it because there's no reason to complain. Remind me not to burst into tears. She, is she, is she, is he, is he up further? Where the fuck am I? Oh, he is down. No, oh, sorry, this yes. is upstairs. Oh, right, yes, he's up here. I love that sound effect. One day, Naya. One day. Oh, there you are. Lashari brought that map from some Piraean ruin a couple of weeks ago. Oh yeah, Lashari, it's been a while. <laughs> I mean, she's she dead now, but... more knowledge about the Piraeans than all the tomes in the Sun Temple's library put together. And now she's gone. Just like Constantine. It still feels... surreal. You wanted to see me? I did, yes. Because I require your help in a personal... Why are you so quiet? What do you need? Hard to explain. Come. So, this is what I would have appreciated from Kalai. Just skip to the bits. Fair enough. Where do I start? Imagine the following scenario. You're in an old fortress. Suddenly a door opens and a bandit charges in. Before you even realize what is happening, he raises his bow, knocks an arrow, and fires it straight at your throat. What happens next? I'm fucking dead. That, that, that. <laughs> the, what? There's no option to just die? It comes unexpectedly. I'm probably in my pajamas and he shot me in the neck. I, I dodged the arrow? That is one possibility, yes. It might be the one you would experience. The truth, however, is a bit more complex than that. Reality branches off into millions of new realities. One in which the bandit kills you. One in which he gets hit by a falling piece of rubble from the ceiling. One in which a tunnel spider jumps out from the shadows and kills him. The possibilities are endless. Everything that can happen, will happen. And creates a new eventuality in the process. Another reality. Even if I survive the air on one reality, I die in another? In a million others, yes. There might even be one where a magical anomaly suddenly transforms the bandit into a mirad. Everything that can happen, will happen. This is the nature of our universe. So are you saying there's a possibility to get a million subscribers? Maybe not in this reality, but in the next one. Hey, I'm here for it, man. I just gotta go and and teleport. The <laughs> depression. The sea of eventualities. And am I right to assume that your request has something to do with it? Getting there. I assume you know that this mechanism is also the reason for the existence of magic. An arcanist is able to transport eventualities from one reality into another, and thus perform feats considered supernatural. So far, so good. But what if there were a way to not only bring elements of other eventualities into ours, but to travel these other realities physically? How in blazes is this possible? Well, this is where it gets exciting, isn't it? With the planeswalker. Come, let us sit. Sure. Where the fuck are we? Are we at the bathhouse? We're at the Sun Temple Quarters. Oh, okay. Have you ever heard of the name Dalmaric? 
The keeper who destroyed Thalgar with the Sunfire? Okay, apparently I know. That's the one. What hardly anyone knows, however, is that Delmarek's experiments reached far beyond the Sunwheel. Among other things, he worked on a device called the Planeswalker, a combination of Andralian mentalism and Piraean technology. And this device allows its user to change her realities? Yes. Sadly, Delmarek never had the chance to finish it, since he was too busy blowing up Thalgard. So you plan to rebuild the Planeswalker, aren't you? Why? To save Lashari? Lashari? No. Even if we were to find a reality where she didn't die, we couldn't bring her back. Suffice it to say that there is something I need to see. Something I want to see. To be honest, it wasn't my intention to drag someone else into this. But there's no other choice, so here we are. Sorry, it's been a tiring day. Could such a device help us in our battle against the cycle? Could, but not that much. Other than what I'm planning to use the Planeswalker for, we lack a concrete plan for using it against the cycle. The only thing we could do with it is use it to blindly glimpse into other realities and hope that we can gain information in the few moments we have there. And for reasons I will elaborate on later, traveling into other realities is quite dangerous. In other words, it's not worth the risk. No, Prophet. Our fight against the High Ones is one we'll have to fight in this world. There's no way around that. So you need my help to rebuild the Planeswalker? Indeed. It would mean a lot to me, if that's worth anything to you. Uh, all right, where do we uh, start? Well, first of all, we need to acquire two materials I wasn't able to find here in Ark. The Aether Crystal and a special kind of alloy. According to my research, Dalmaric's old laboratory in Thalgard would be Thalgard. To start our search. Where's this laboratory? Right in the middle of Thalgard's contaminated areas, so it will be dangerous. You have a map, don't you? Here. That's where we should find the entrance. I have some preparations to make first, so let us meet there shortly. Oh, you're going to oh, come with me? One more thing. I would appreciate it if we could keep this matter between you and I for now. I know I've said it before, but this mission is personal, and I'd rather not have to justify it to Arantheo. I would Firstly, just justify being personal, away, right? though, for Secondly, too long. It's too much of a risk as long as Kaleem and his helper are still sauntering about. The less people know of this mission, the better. Listen, if I'm to risk my life for this, I want to know what it's about, at least the essentials. The essentials. 40 well, XP, baby. Suffice it to say that what happened to Lashari and Constantine have made me question certain things. I know that they gave their lives for the greater good, but frankly, there have been times when I've found it hard to stay true to our cause. I am hoping that what I'll find over there will help me regain some sense of purpose. <sighs> yes, I know, probably not the answer you were hoping for, but it's the best I can do for now. <laughs> Forgive me. All right, let's get started. We will. I will meet you in Thalgar. So I actually have never done this quest aside from this conversation here. Uh, I've never really been much to Thalgard, like I said in previous episodes. So this is all going to be, again, a new experience. And I'm here for it. But first, before I go there, I want to go to the librarian about the books. Because I feel like I could get XP or something because I have all the Butcher of Arc books. Where the fuck's the exit? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know where to go. How the fuck do I get out of here, man? Sun Temple on the left side, okay. Oh, she doesn't like me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I need to go to the Nobles Quarter. 
I hope it's not too late. It might be closed by this point. But we're, uh, we're about to find out. Monsieur? Yes? Is this a library? Bathhouse. Wait, I forgot where the library was at. Someone's house? Wait. There's the library. Yes? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I haven't been here yet, actually, as far as I know. Unless it's been like, what, 40 hours ago? Now, where is the guy? Oh, why does it feel like I'm out here purchasing my first wand? I'm a wizard. Is he in there? Do I have an expert? Uh, I got a master one. Okay. <laughs> He's not here. Is he? I'm just looting his place. I have been here before, but through jumping, not through... Uh... Oh shit, I got... Uh, I'm not gonna go to the bank now. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't be asked. It's gonna fucking <laughs> crash my game. Can I not use his bed temporarily to skip till the next day? I know it's kind of stealing because it's, you know, his bed, not mine. But come on, give me, give me something, you know. It's just motherfucker. Oh, man. Everything is happening so inconveniently to me today. What blessed? I, I don't think I need to pay again to sleep. At least, I don't know if this game is doing it for a week or so, but we're about to find out. Malfas's blessing. Is Kalaya still in the bed? Oh, there she is. She doesn't talk. She's just okay. Uh, let's skip until ten at least. I like how she's saying her sentence to sell items, but she's still in at the tavern. But everyone's about to leave. And the noble's quarter was uh, was an it was an expensive day today. Greetings. Greetings. Oh, what is with the lighting? Everything looks so mushy. Ooh. 40 minutes and we haven't left Ark yet. Sir, get your ass over here, man. There you are. Malthus blessings, monsieur. Are you looking for something to read? You name it, I got it. King Lude and the maidservant Devosha. Behold! <laughs> it's unhinged or something like that. Yes. Himself. 
I assume the thieves were hoping it contained the forbidden passage about Jail Tannerson's initiation ritual, but as far as I know, not even the original has it. Well, long story short, you're treading on dangerous ground here. If it's a story you want, I oh, there's you nothing I can do with that. Else. Oh, okay, that's a shame. Fight and defeat the Forgotten One. Okay, I guess we go to Thalgard now. Oh my god, we're going back there. Do I have so I got 30 silver arrows. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's first get some silver arrows before we head back to Thalgard. It's a good thing I just decided to check this because otherwise I would have had to come back. Oh, I went to the Undercity accidentally. I wish they named it slightly different though. This is very jarring. I don't really have that much money, but I should be able to sell some stuff. Can I... Stop burping. Oh, like I did it. I can't craft arrows, but I need wood, and I can then craft... I can craft... Four, I need four wood, and I can craft 40 arrows. I mean, I just don't see the fucking point. <laughs> there we go. Um, sure. Do you have any silver arrows I can buy? Hello. I sure. Take your time. It's not as if there's much to do down here anyway. You have 46 arrows, which means I need 221 pennies. Um... Okay. Yes. Farewell. Will that be enough arrows for now? 116. I might be able to do it with that little. I also have three ghost curses, so I can use normal arrows as well. It's it's okay. I'll use the ghost curse as a backup if I can't really leave. Now we need to go back to Thalgard. Myra Tower. And we're finally going to go on an adventure a little bit. Dangerous area immediately, but that's fine. You know, we've come to a point where we'll mostly be checking out endgame areas. Mister, walk blessed, friend. Where are you headed? I would have to go to... The well wa wa watch, well watch, well watch, well watch, yeah. Sure, where to? Well watch. 50 pennies gone, I got like 39 coins left, baby. Hell to the, to the, yay. The fuck? God forbid I don't know where to go next. So it's this way, right? Yes. How am I supposed to pay that much? Oh, I blow up butterflies. I like how I'm just catching them. I could technically eat them as well. It's fucked. The whole ecosystem is fucked. And we're back in dangerous territory. 
Luckily, we don't have to dive too far into Thalgard. I hope. I also will argue this might be the first time we might not find a magical symbol in the stream. Most of them will nowadays just be very obscure. There's a there's a there's a bear. What? How did I miss? Why was there a bear there? I mean, I'll take it. XP is XP, man. Um. Oh, is it over there? So I have cleared this out in the. Was, it wasn't the last episode. It was the episode before that, maybe? So you're telling me he's gonna be here? Oh. Okay. Oh. Wait, they're humans. They respawned because I cleared this one out not too long ago. Ooh, some nice arrows though. Speaking of, um. Yeah, because they're giving me a lot of these arrows. I'm taking them. Oh, this guy didn't really have any of them. Useland, where the. F oh, you're here. Okay, you're just standing there. I think he's meant to move here. Then I can talk to him. Bit glitchy. Maybe a reload helps. Fucking hell, he's stuck. I hate this, man. <laughs> NPCs are not working. Don't know how else to fix it though. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Ah. Ah. Tenacious bastards. Where are they set? We've been through them. Remind me, what exactly are we looking they for? Said two objects: the ether crystal. A special kind of alloy. I'll look for the alloy. You look for the crystal. Agreed? At least I don't have to do both of them. What does it look like? I don't know exactly, but according to my sources, it's made of a fluorescent blue mineral. Is that from the library and the upper room? Question. It's the core element of the planeswalker. Think of it as a kind of enhancer of one's gaze into the sea of eventualities. What do you want I me to look? To try his old laboratory first. Come on, let's get started. Just come back here once you've found the crystal. Because then I know exactly where it is. As I'm walking the wrong way. But I, I, I think I know which one I... I was thinking about. There's... Above the library on the upper floor. I hope the enemies did not respawn. There's this blue thing here.
What? This level was not here before. That's, and I'm guessing the item is in there. That's why that, okay. That's why I was not able to get in this room the first time I ventured in this area. Makes, bro, I was looking everywhere for this. And you telling me it was just, oh my god. So, had any luck? What the fuck? So, I had any luck? It's all shards. The roof came down on it. What? No, that can't be. Show me. <sighs> Suit yourself. I'm looking into the past? No. No, 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 no. That's impossible. Apparently it's not. So, what about my pay? You'll get it. I think he's dead, guys. I mean, I know I can't trust him. Oh god, it's me. That's not my shield. So I'm gonna get shot? Oh my god, this is such a cool thing to experience. But he's not there. Is this because there were enemies here, but I killed them all? <laughs> I'll take the boots. I want this for my uh, uh, character. the quarters I go. This is kind of spooky. I'm excited for this. Oh. Well, maybe you're just wrong and this goddamn crystal was never in here in the first place. Ever thought of that? It is here. Let's keep looking. Alright, alright. We have all the time in the world, don't we? could kill me instantly if you want to then. Ah, there you are. So? I'm not gonna mention it. What about uh, the alloy? It's quite dented, but I should be able to fix it. Huh. Fascinating. A pity we need to disassemble it. Either way, we did what we came here for. I'll take the crystal to Ark and find a safe place to That's store. it? Here, I found this further down. Why I mean, there were, there were supposed to be enemies, but I cleared the place. I need a couple of days at least to fully reconstruct the planeswalker. A couple it days? Months ago, I wanted to continue the quest line, damn it. Missing. Meet me in the dust pit in the Undercity two days from now. It's some kind of arena, in case you haven't been there before. Ah, uh, see you then. Glacial Bomb 2. See you then. And he's teleporting. That was a waste of my fucking time. Why do I have to see this? <laughs> well, I know how this works. Okay. I guess now it's uh, time to get out of here. What the fuck was that all that about? Oh, I didn't notice this chest here. I mean, it's not exactly the best loot in the world, but we move. Still need to find, like, large leather again. Haven't been able to find it ever since. But I need it to uh, improve an armor piece.
I mean, Valgard isn't as big as I thought in terms of, like, exploring. It's only essentially this bit here. There isn't anything else for me around here, sadly. Which is kind of a shame. I wanted more. But I, I cannot, I cannot have it. I've already explored this bit though. I guess we move on to the next quest line because there's nothing else. Uh, food is ready if you know by the time you enjoy the You too, enjoy the food. Talk to you later. Uh, right, so. Well, this song. Na, 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 na. What is this quest? I'm trying to... Parian artifact in old Eskaman. Find the lost effigy and also Balheski's key from his house if I go to Falkville. That scared the shit out of me. I don't remember spawning him in. Does he know I need to get back? I mean, it's good to have you here, buddy, but what the fuck? That's kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Holy shit. Do I have enough pennies? I got Yes, I just- I barely have enough to pay it. The fair. The Fogville. Holy- Oh my god. It's a very close call. Oh, don't do that. I'm gonna pour my drink in the meantime, put the auto run on, you know how it goes. I- <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I just wanted to say I actually appreciate not being able to fast travel by clicking icons. Oh. Like it's a- I, At first, I'll be honest, I was a little bit annoyed. But that's just because I'm used to this. To being able to click to an icon and teleport. Hello. But I, I actually kind of like it now. Okay, I need to talk to you and go to Fogville. I have enough ambrosia. Walk less, I should be able to survive. Sure. Where to? And the um, and the uh, arcane fever doesn't go up if I'm inside a building. Fogville. Because I will have to go to the Whisperwood Valley or whatever it was called. Okay. There's one at the back here, but I don't think I can get there. Or actually, I might be able to. Could be that house over there. And I could attack enemies from here if I... If there are any enemies to be here. <laughs> I just found a vantage point. 
There doesn't seem to be anything, though. Oh, there's something there. Humans. Disgusting. I think it might have even been a, been a mage. Sorry. I'm honestly surprised I can't see more than that. Because I don't think I've ever been here before. Have I? Maybe I have. Yeah, because I have the Foxstone Bridge unlocked, so I the, so these enemies probably are just respawn enemies. And I've already been around here before. Makes sense. Anyways, I probably need to be at this house here. But these two chests, I'm just saying. Delicious. Never mind, it's not really worth it. It was a mage. I'll take a star for money. Because even though I have some in the bank, I'm starting to actually lose quite a bit of money. So it is this house, right? Get fucked. Woo. Small deposit. Oh god. Did not re did not see him for some fucking reason. Uh, I just didn't notice. I don't know why I didn't notice, but I didn't notice. probably gonna be people in here I'm just saying I'm gonna start by stealthing I don't even need to be here They weren't able to actually see me that well. They don't really give a lot of XP because it's quite a bit of a lower area here, but it's fine. I'll probably have to use an iron lantern because I can't see anything. I could have actually hit those pots and just burnt the whole place down. I recognize this sound. I think that's an elemental. Like a willow of the wisp kind of thing. That's it? That can't be it. I think the silver arrow. Was it silver arrow? I don't remember. I can probably sprint down for now. No other room here? I hear a noise though. Must have been my imagination. Okay. Wasn't such a dangerous area anyways. I 
How do I go to this actual house here? Seems this is the official way. A rat. Not exactly danger. Surprisingly, nothing else at the moment but a fucking rat. What? You'd think this place is at least a little bit more dangerous. Hmm. Okay. Not even like here. Spare parts, monthly report. After the tears from Dark Valley charged the wood process inside, we ordered the mages to secure the area. They conjure the monstrosity of pure ooze. Keeps the beast to bay. It is imperative that every man and woman not qualify for guard duty keeps digging. We have to be finished by the time the steel crabs return with a new group of prospectors. Okay. The actual mine. I saw it. I wanted to click it. It was just closed. Yeah, I can tell. There are people here. Can't find me yet. Like a prophet's ass. Someone's out there. Pick the wrong enemy, my friend. Sir. I don't fit through here. Uh oh. I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck. Shit, man, the fucking collision. Holy shit. Yeah, the collision is an actual issue, but... I came fever's worse, and yes, I'm quite aware of that. I also need to go and eat something, because I'm about to die. They probably have shit loot anyways. Can't even use the bed. I can use this one though. Might be easier. <laughs> the way she's dead. It's just kind of ridiculous, but I'll take it. Uh... Well, this goes further down. Oh, I can hear people mine. Gotcha. Okay. 
Gotcha. I can't be the only one. There's probably one more around here. No, there isn't. Keep a bow of arcane wrath. There's way... Oh, this is the leader as well. Oh, I fucking one-shot the big guy. That's fucking amazing. Wait. Oh, Wait. this is the guy I needed. Bandits, are you? you have to help me. Am I talking to a picture? No. That, that is... You are. But I'm a person. Only that she trapped me in here. This wild mage. This witch. And Drasta. She did this. Leaf, my companion. She managed to knock her out and flee with me. But then there were these bandits. And they... They killed her. Oh, my Malthus. My Leaf. They killed her. All right, calm down. Tell me everything from the beginning. Were, were mercenaries, witch hunters from Arasio, Talgul, to be precise. We heard that, well, that things are turbulent here in Enderol at the moment. So we thought we would make passage and try our luck here. Who hired you to find Andras? One of those sublime from Ark. He didn't want to tell us his name because he was afraid. At first, I thought he was exaggerating, but now I know better. Andrasta. She hates Ark, you know. She hates the nobles more than anything in this world. She says they are decadent and care about nothing other than their. That is a typical point of view from guns. people that do not have those type of luxuries. In the city. She's a wild mage, a psionic to be precise. So she's a vigilante. She finds nobles to paint and then kills them with no. magic. She waits for them to come to her. Do you know what people pay for a painting by her? A worker could buy a house with that money. And she says whoever is willing to waste that much money on vanity doesn't deserve to live. Nobody notices anything different in the beginning, you know? The people she paints, they behave like always. But in reality, they are no more than lost ones. Puppets without a will who go about their daily business. And then, usually a couple of moons after the painting, they die. Suicide. A heart attack. Nothing anyone could trace back to Andrasta. That's what's so horrible about it. In any case, our employer... He somehow found out, and he hired me and Leaf to put an end to her atrocities, once and for all. I see. So this noble hires you to kill Andrasta. What we happened? We were customers. She painted me first. Leaf noticed too late what was happening, but she managed to overthrow her. Then she took the painting and ran. Ah. <sighs> We would have both gotten away if it hadn't been for those damn highwaymen. Oh, Leaf. I... I just can't believe it. Please. You... You have to bring me to Andrasta's house and kill her. I think I know how I can break the spell and get back into my body. But she needs to be dead for that. Please. Fine, I'll see what I can Thank do. You. We have to do this for Leaf. Lost effigy. Confront Andrasta with the accus accusations. Notes. Uh, some bread I can take. Oh, I can't take the bread, really? I could use the food, you know. Little bastards. Nothing else here, I guess. Malachite, I have enough of that for now. Powder keg. I am confused by this spot here. 
But I'm just gonna go and uh, move on for now. That's a no from me, dog. Hello. See ya. Come, the painting will come explore with me, buddy. Let's go have a great time because I'm not gonna come go back to her for now. I wanted to check the other house at Frogville. But I am surprised there weren't that many enemies in this area. Truly. Uh, which is all the way there to try and find my way back somehow. I think I need to go west. Wait, what is this? Where the fuck am I now? Why do I always find myself in random danger? Massive chest. Lock level master. What the fuck? I mean, it's not exactly the best fucking loot ever, but I'll take some of it though, not too much. Saruna, you shithead, you know exactly that I can't handle the bow. Do you think you are being funny by hiding the key up in there? They even give you a... a okay. Oh, was that the chest key for this? Oops. <laughs> well, at least there's a solution to everything. I'm glad they give you the option. Now you guys know if you ever decide to go in there. Just get the key. Don't waste the scroll like I did. Apparently, I haven't been here either. Hey, everything is dangerous. Think. Very quiet here. Oh shit! <laughs> I barely saw this. Wait, someone's there. Shit. <laughs> that is so many enemies. The one time I wish I didn't fucking miss some of my shots, man. I'm glad my guy's still alive. He's taking aggro. 
What a good dude. I can't take multiple enemies at the same time, sadly. We did it, though. Holy shit, just barely. You did your part. Time to take my daily ambrosia. <laughs> Oh my god, that was, that was... There weren't so much a threat, it's just the two mages at the back is what I was scared about. Because they can fucking hit hard. Rusty bread. I could have technically used this to save myself. What does this do? Let's see. Well, please stop, because there's a chest over there. So there is another way to get rid of those enemies. Glad they give you the option. Expert man! Now nah, use a book. Up. Uh, I'll take most things. I feel like spare parts is really not needed right now. Retire someday. Give myself an island. Okay, at least now they can't easily see me. Just hope there's not that many. Might pay off my bounty this time. Walk into the city of free man. Done. I didn't get any sneak damage, sadly. At least, I think he would have been instantly killed. I am over the weight right now. Mostly because of all these fucking... I'll put that one in there. And I guess the wood, because right now I don't need it. I can easily get that sort of stuff back. Coin purse, charisma potion. Another chest. No expert, please. Just a normal apprentice one. Okay. There we go. How close am I to leveling? I'm getting there. It takes a lot longer now, though. But that's fine. Like I said, the, the, there comes a point where you just have to live with it now. But it's just like, at some point, there's just no more levels to get. There's a Butcher of Arc book here, but there's no enemies around. Okay. And we go back to the Cliff of Parkville. And now we're here. Okay. Yeah, so now I just need to keep a straight path. It would have been much easier if you went inside the area through that spot there. There's another area? Okay, now how about we just move on and do a bit of... Oi! I mean, it's pointless now, I just shoot him. He's a bit silly, that wolf. 
No magical symbol that I can see. Stop running away, bro. There you go. The fuck? I thought I saw a magical symbol for a second. <laughs> hey, you never know, right? Shit. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. I got a little bit too excited. <laughs> ah, perfect. I couldn't see through the bushes. I tried to be cool. Gotcha. What a nice place here. Another locked chest. Apprentice. Easily done. Carry weight is uh, reaching a limit here. Should probably sleep a couple hours though. Like 12. I don't think I'd... Have I slept more than 12 hours? No. Not that I know of. Have I been down there? Oh, that's why I need to go. <laughs> right, that makes sense. Whoa, fucking hell, it's dark. That was an ice club. What the fuck are you guys? Arps. Uh, I'm gonna go and sleep uh, an extra two, three hours until it's daylight. It's a bit too dark over there, and right now the sun is probably rising, and mountains are blocking the light. There you go, three hours. How about that? Bonus. I don't really see anything right now. Makes me think there aren't actually that many enemies about, but I have explored this area before. No, not in the stream, I just mean our previous playthrough. Oh, I was like, I'm being seen by something. I'm still safe here. Use the walls to block the, the path for looking at me. That's the dead. Never mind, that didn't work. I'm scared. Go away. Shit. Where did they come from, though? I checked most areas. Okay, well, at least they're dead. They're giving me some sort of poison. That's alright though. I can take it. Oh, I found a small stash. Ah, Ambrosia. Is that it in terms of enemies from the outside? Yeah, I would say so. 
So now I have to get inside this area. There's an ice claw over there, though. Damn it, bro. There's so much to explore still. Like, I'm far from being done with this game, honestly. Stop moving. Oh, shit! I mean, it's only 30 XP, but that's okay. Uh, they're definitely going to be here to attack me. Abandoned house. I can definitely tell it's abandoned by the exterior look of it. Okay. Abandoned should mean also fucking creepy, but I guess... I fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I just shook. <laughs> oh shit. Just for a rat. That was the most terrifying thing ever. Oh my god. But we did it. I say that as if it's fucking difficult. It's, it's the one shot away from being dead. Salvage the mushroom samples and retrieve the research papers. Gonna take the money. No, I just want the fucking money. <laughs> Stop gra Stop clicking all these random things. Give me the coin stack. That's what I care about. Thank you. Was that so hard? Oh my god. <laughs> it reminds me of The Witcher 3 when I wanted to talk to NPCs and my guy just keeps using Igni to flick on the fucking candle on the table. I'm like, stop doing that. Bro, that's so unnecessary. Why do you keep doing that? I'm actually close to ending the stream as in like in two minutes and I haven't been able to find a single magical symbol. I am actually kind of sad. I don't, I don't know how to feel about this one, Chief. Sir, you are un inconsequential to the story. I think you just say inconsequential instead of un in. <laughs> There's a ship here. Isn't this back in the beginning? Yeah, this is the Sun Coast again. Oh my god. Like, they're skellies, but they're all probably low level. Well, does I get like, what, 90 XP? 30, yeah, they are low level. Oh, they're all awake. I mean, yeah, sure, fight me, it's fine. You guys get one shot anyways. Hello, everyone, come here. Whoa, what a surprise. Next guy, come here. Damn it. What a challenge! Oh my- <gasps> We did it! We found a magical symbol! Usually there are chests, like, behind the ship here. Fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. I'm a genius. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Nice. Probably not that great. Yeah. Ah, uh, two log picks. Right. Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna leave it here. I think we've done kind of enough. Not too many things happened on this episode, but we're just setting up a couple things uh, before we head into. A co Stop shooting. I'm trying to make my outro. Anyone else? You as well. You guys done? Oh my God. But I'm just trying to do my outro here. They're all just bothering me. Stop it. You wanna get shot as well? That's just a rock. What about you? You feel like death? Boom, done. King Crab's dead. Uh, and on that note though, I'm gonna leave it here. I wanna thank you all for watching, it's been an absolute pleasure. 
Hope you guys had a great time. Hopefully I'll be back either maybe tomorrow, otherwise most likely Wednesday. Uh, at least that's what I hope. I actually am gonna, not soon, but in about a month or two if I'm lucky, I'm actually gonna sacrifice a couple hours of work to spend more time on YouTube. So, and with a couple hours, I'm just talking about five. All right. So I just have more time for myself and also more time to do this sort of stuff because sometimes I just I'm too tired to record or do anything after work and I want to have a bit more energy to also provide content and so I don't always am tired like I am today <laughs> uh, but that will happen in like a month or two uh, I'm still setting up stuff with the new job so. anyways though like I said thank you for watching I'll see you all in the next episode take care and peace